Seven day saplings. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to tell you guys I told you so, but I definitely told you so. Way back when I released that video entitled Ivern is dead in preseason. When Riot first released all their mythic items, I knew back then Ivern and the support items were going to be awful. And you know what? It looks like Riot has agreed with me. I hope you're excited for that new skin because you're never going to get to play it. Ivern jungle is dead. Riot is back for patch 10.25 with a new round of buffs. They're going to have a second round of buffs here for the support and enchanter item, but they're even throwing in some direct buffs for Ivern. I mean, Ivern wasn't necessarily weak in the preseason. I would say he's probably A or B tier, but with these new buffs, he's going to be A or S tier. These buffs are absolutely massive. I don't just mean like three movement speed here or there or anything like that. These buffs are crazy. Almost all of his abilities and even Daisy got some love. So without further ado, let's take a look at them. When looking at the Ivern buffs, we see Ivern's Q cooldown is going from 14 to 10 seconds to 12 to 8 seconds. So it looks like a two second buff across the board here. The E shield AP ratio is going from 80% scaling with AP to 90% scaling with AP. And the cooldown on that shield is going from 12 to 8 seconds to 10 to 6 seconds. And Daisy's getting an attack speed buff from 0.623 attack speed to 0.7 attack speed. I think the Daisy attack speed is going to be pretty marginal, but any attack speed buff we can get on Daisy is going to help us proc our three hit, so it is a welcome buff. The other two buffs, however, are massive. They are huge. Now, what's the one thing we've always been complaining about, about the new season and the item? All of the AP items do not have ability haste. I'm thinking about Staff of Flowing Water. I'm thinking about removing the ability haste from Arden Sensor. This is going to shore that up for Ivern right away. Our two key abilities are going down in cooldown. What that means for us is if we get early ability haste right out of the gate, we can focus our build back towards those AP items without having to worry about not having enough cooldown reduction for our ability. Ivern really is looking for three stat categories. He's looking for ability haste, ability power, and movement speed. All of these things help Ivern scale hard into the late game and he's very, very good across all stages of the game based on his scaling. This is going to let us get to our typical four second shield cooldown or 45% CDR. In season 10, we used to get that after one item with runes and Iodian boots. Now in season 11, in preseason here, we've been getting that after two to three item. But this is going to be like right around the 1.5 to two items we're going to have that maxed out CDR, which is going to let us spam our shields. But because of that, Magi's and Deathcap and Void Staff and Zhonya's are going to go way up in priority. And we're going to be able to not only maintain our ability haste, but we're going to be able to move into stacking AP with these buffs. The other consideration too is this is actually a big buff for support Ivern. The main problem with support Ivern is his laning phase. Generally his cooldowns in the early game are too high to be a very effective support. But what this does is our initial cooldowns on our abilities are actually going down. So Ivern's going to be better with less gold, right? So that's an indirect buff over to all of our support Ivern players here on the channel. I hope you guys are happy with those. I don't think this is going to change which items are the strongest for Ivern. The strongest items right now for Ivern are Cosmic Insight, Moonstone Renewer, Staff of Flowing Water, Arden Sensor, Zhonya's, Magi's, Deathcap, etc, etc. Um, I don't think this is going to change that Moonstone is the strongest mythic on Ivern and that Cosmic Insight is really the best item to rush on Ivern. These changes to me do not enable Ivern to use Imperial Mandate any better, for example, or to rush Everfrost or to get Ludens Echo, right? Because th th what's wrong with those items is not our cooldown, but it's the general application with Ivern's kit. So because Ivern's kit's not changing, I don't think the abilities 
or the items that you're going to be rushing are going to change in any way. However, we are going to be a lot stronger in those early skirmishes when you just need that one extra shield to finish the job or you just need that one extra Q to lock them down and kite them out. So we're going to be able to duel that much better and plus our added AP is going to help us with those empowered autos and all that damage. So we're really going to have a good time at the level 3 crabs and really pushing our advantage as best we can. The other buffs we have to look at here are actually the support item buff. So we've all known for a while that Bandle Glass Mirror was an absolutely abysmal item. Costing 1,050 gold for the stats it gave was brutal. So it looks like Riot reduced the cost by 100 gold, which is exactly the kind of change that it needed. Imperial Mandate, Moonstone Renewer, Shirelli's Battle Song, and Locket of the Iron Solari are all going down by 200 gold. Um, this isn't going to change the fact that Moonstone Renewer is the best out of these items, um, but it is going to make getting our mythic item that much easier for a low econ jungler. These changes are meant to help support, but Ivern getting full gold from all of his camps is going to benefit as well from these changes. They've also front loaded the healing and the damage from Moonstone renewer and imperial mandate so getting that initial heal off is going to be a lot more beneficial getting that first shield and then staying in combat for a longer period of time this helps you weave in and out of fights more effectively and i think is a really nice change for ivern the last change here we need to look at is Arden sensor staff of flowing water as these are the ones you're going to buy the most often they've replaced the blasting one with an amplifying tome but the total cost is unchanged so this might seem like not a big deal but it actually is a very big deal and the reason it's a big deal is because when you base and you're sitting on that 435 gold that's worth an amp tome, and you're not really sure how the game's gonna progress, you're not really sure what item you're gonna go into, you can sit on that amp tome and it can build into the Arden Sensor, Staff of Flowing Water, Zanyas, or any other item that has an amp tome in it. So it really helps your build path and helps your build flexibility, allowing you to wait and see how the game progresses before picking which item you need the most. I think those are the most important changes here for all of the Ivern items. Um, one thing I do want to announce is December 5th, next Saturday, 1 p.m. PST, right here on our Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Elder. We're going to be having a Christmas tree live stream where we're gonna go to a tree farm, pick a tree out, and then we're gonna bring it home and Twitch chat is gonna help me decorate it. So if you do wanna be part of those fun Christmas festivities, come on out and check out our Twitch channel. Again, twitch.tv slash Elder. Um, if you like what we do here on this channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I hope you guys have a sunny day, saplings. Bye. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah. Ooh.